Hey everyone. Uh, so this video is going to be the first of a two-part series uh, where we dive into the IRR and XIRR functions in Excel. Uh, in this video, we're going to review IRR as part of our ACRE 101 series. And then in the next video, we'll review the XIRR function as part of our deep dive series. So to give a high level overview, the IRR and XIRR functions are important functions used frequently in real estate financial modeling and it's used to calculate the internal rate of return over an investment hold period. And, you know, we can think of the IRR as the project's self-derived discount rate. And, you know, if the discount rate's unfamiliar to you, then I suggest to first watch my video on using the DCF method to value real estate. And you can actually uh, go into the description and click on the link uh, within it if you're watching this on YouTube. And then if you're on uh, the ACRA website, you can click on the link. Uh, as well in the in the post. So uh, the the traditional IRR function, you know, does the job for calculating the internal rate of return over yearly periods. But oftentimes we find ourselves modeling over monthly periods and even quarterly periods, uh, to which you know using the IRR function would be incorrect. And so therefore we need to utilize the XIR function. And which again we will cover in part two of this series. All right, so before we get to this Excel sheet, uh, I'd like to do a quick review of the IRR formula. So the IRR formula is the same present value formula I reviewed in my using the DCF method to value real estate video. But rather than deriving a present value with a known discount rate, the present value is known and the discount rate, or in this instance, the IRR in the formula is what uh, needs to be solved for. And so Excel will iterate through this formula numerous times until that IRR is solved for. All right, so let's go to the Excel sheet and let's use the IRR function Excel and then let's verify, <clears throat> excuse me, let's verify that the IRR is correct um, by solving it formulaically. All right, so for this particular property, the IRR, so it equals IRR, hit tab, and simply highlight the cash flows and hit enter. So you see we here we have a 10.09% IRR for this investment. All right, so now we will verify that this is correct formulaically by applying this IRR to the present value formula. And by doing so for each period, we should be able to add up um, all the results from each period and it should equal $8 million. All right, so equals cash flow in period one divided by one plus IRR to the power of current year. So let's copy this down. And then let's add it up and it should be $8 million. All right, so that is the explanation of IRR and how it works. Um, and again, if, if we were looking at uh, an investment period that wasn't wasn't in year periods, uh, we'd have to make some alterations to this, and that's when the XIRR function comes in. So this formula would not work, and the IRR function wouldn't work if you were analyzing monthly or quarterly or basically any other period um, of cash flow that was outside of, of an exact year. And so next video, we will go into that um, and how to do that with our XIRR function. All right, thanks for watching, and stick around for part two.